Bula and Namaste. Welcome to your Fiji Sun News Bulletin. In the news today, a man allegedly pretending to be an employee of the Water Authority of Fiji has swindled at least $78,000 from some members of the public, officials confirmed. The authority said the suspect, a former employee of the then Water Supply Department, has been going about conducting illegal connections and charging people for his services. Authority spokesperson Flora Turanga alleged during their joint public consultation meeting with the National Fire Authority at St. Luke's Anglican Church in Lodala Bay, Suba, yesterday that the men had collected more than $78,000. She said, we have strongly advised members of the public to be careful when giving money, especially cash. The Water Authority of Fiji only receives cash payments at its offices nationwide and at outlets of authorized partners. Also, one of the four teenagers who was involved in a car accident in Lothala Beach on Friday night remains in a critical condition, a source told the Fiji Sun last night. The source also said two of the teenagers were discharged last night, while the fourth victim, who suffered minor injuries, was released early. The accident on Friday night claimed the knife of a 39-year-old Brisbane woman. Police spokesperson Anna Naisoro told the Fiji Sun last night that the 26-year-old female suspect remains in custody. The dead Brisbane woman was traveling with four teenagers, two aged 14, two and two aged 15 at the time of the accident. A Fiji Sun source said last night that the Brisbane woman was born in Fiji and had moved to Australia 12 years ago. She had just arrived on Thursday with her teenage daughter to visit family members here. In business, the M Corp Western Charity Alliance was launched in partnership with, on Saturday, expanding a channel for philanthropic efforts by the corporate sector in the Western Division. MCOP, which was initially launched in February, is an SMS service that shares advice on corporate giving on Tuesdays and Thursdays and sees funds from subscriptions poured into charity organizations consisting of corporate bodies. Subscribers can also make donations to these organizations through the SMS service. Speaking at the launch, Nandi Chamber of Commerce and Industry President Dr. Ram Raju lauded the Foundation's initiative in strengthening the outreach of the corporate sector to the community. Chairman of the new Western Alliance and Western Charity Alliance and a member of the Fiji College of General Practitioners, Dr. Raju, said they had spent the past eight years working closely with the Foundation, who are the main sponsors of the FCGP's Children's Heart Foundation. In sport, John Evonu Jr. and Alvin Avinash scored to inspire design engineer in Lautoka to their 4 1 win against Rewa in the Fiji Sun GP Batteries National Football League match at the ANZ Stadium yesterday. The Blues displayed classic football under the leadership of their new coach Rabinesh Kumar to beat Rewa. Both sides were locked 1 1 at half time. In the second half, Lotoka scored three goals to Elvin Avinesh. Uh, uh, sorry, in the second half, Lotoka scored three goals as Elvin Avinesh netted his double in the 62nd and 72nd minute, while Chonik Lotani scored in the 83rd minute to give Lotoka the emphatic win. Rewa, with players like Lori Mandau, Poa Sambanivalu, Solomon Islanders. James Naka and veteran striker Ratu Barasatama couldn't find their rhythm in the match. Real match Marika Rondo held an emergency meeting with his players after the loss and said they had ironed out their differences in the meeting. Before we go, let's have a look at the weather. An active trough of low pressure lying just to the west of Fiji and is gradually moving eastwards over the group. Associated cloud and rain is expected to affect Fiji until later on Wednesday. Forecast to midnight tomorrow for the Fiji group, rain and squally thunderstorms over most places, isolated heavy falls expected and moderate northerly winds fresh at times. Winds becoming predominantly southeast from later tomorrow and moderate to rough seas. That's all from the newsroom for now. Have a good day.